What is going on, Big Sean Gamers? It is Benson Tate. We are going to be ranking each and every single perk and Vanguard Zombies. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe, all the cool nonsense. You know how this goes. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Make sure you check out the links in the description and subscribe. If you do, I'll shout you out. Yes, you the big homie. And if not, that's okay. Let's get into it. Our first perk has to be Jug. And I don't know why, but in... In the past Call of Duties, it's just been really bad. It's not really good. And granted, look, don't get me wrong, it does help out on the later rounds. But with the addition of armor and then quick revive and then stamina up, you're really able to get away from a lot of enemies and also recover health a lot faster than you normally would. So the whole thing with Jug, it's just... It's kind of meh, like, especially when you only have it, like, tier 1 to tier 3. It's kind of all right, but once you get into tier 4 and 5, it, it's it's not bad. It's definitely not my first one I'm going to be upgrading the most. I feel like a lot of other people can agree with that, mainly because, well, you have armor. You could just repair it and buy more and then get it higher up, which will last a little bit longer. And also, Jug doesn't really give any extra benefits like it did in Cold War, so hence why it's so low. It doesn't mean it's a bad perk altogether. It is you know extremely useful i mean it's jug after all you know it does give you about an extra 125 health but you have to pay up like 15 20 extra thousand just to get to that point which it's kind of a more so get it you upgrade it once you have all your other perks upgrade at least that's how i see it it's in my eyes the least unupgraded perk that i you know i just i pick it up just because you know it's there it's free but if it was just a little bit better you know in terms of actually you know getting a little bit more because you only get about like 25 per health per buy and you know when you're spending like 5,000 to 7,500 and you're only getting 25 health it kind of feels like a scam mainly because the zombies after a while just start to do like 75 to 100 damage which is a little ridiculous but if you don't you know if you don't have armor jug is really useful but if you're in every other category and you do have armor you're going to be well set and you won't really need it all too much especially if you know you lose it or something you're probably going to upgrade other perks it is still really good i can't stress that enough but yeah it's just number five on our spot today number four on our spot is going to be speed cola and it's a little bit better than jug i would say granted it is a little bit more useful in the higher rounds you can say all that for these perks so i don't sound like broken record just keep saying it over and over but it is really good i know you might be thinking well you have you know tier two instead of tier one but really speed cola with tier one it really doesn't do much and tier two kind of does something and you know i do have a 20 round mag so it reloads a little bit faster but it is really useful especially if you're using those you know bigger clip weapons which you know a lot of us are using but i wanted that little bit of extra damage i don't have the 30 round clips with the stg but i mean overall it is really good i mean there's no wonder weapon in the map where you absolutely need speed cola i mean it is definitely a want i mean i would definitely pick other perks over speed cola you know upgrading wise at least because mainly they're gonna help a little bit more and speed cola you know it's really useful in the higher rounds but not so much in the lower rounds you know once you get the super sprinters on like round 13 to 15 you know that's when it's actually going to be somewhat useful mainly because you know you need to reload fast the zombies are coming at you fast you might be able to run away but you can't sprint and reload at the same time which is a huge disadvantage and even if you have stamina up you can't either which is really weird and for some reason they were just like no you can't in this game which is a really really bad decision mainly because you know on those higher rounds like i said earlier you really do need to reload while you're sprinting at the same time because you know the zombies are like how fast are they i mean they will literally bust your chops you got to be making sure you reload at the right times and everything and speed cola it'll help with that but it is a little bit better before for number three we have quick revive and quick revive it is good in this game i definitely do like it more than the other two perks and it's overall you know there's nothing bad about it you know i was kind of like going on about how jug and the speed cola perk just kind of meh like they're not the best but quick revive is actually really useful in this and i prefer it over jug indefinitely because well i mean when you have armor you can recover health faster with you know quick revive and you know armor is basically jug in this game let's be honest here same thing goes for cold war and you know jug is really useful in the higher rounds but definitely for sure quick revive it gets you your health back a lot faster especially when you have it at least tier three or tier two and you actually notice somewhat of a difference when you have a tier one though it isn't very noticeable and that just goes for all the perks but overall it is a very very good perk and it's a little unfortunate how much you gotta upgrade it because you know it is a little bit annoying when you you know you're only at like tier one or tier two and it's a little bit slower than normal which i mean it's still good but it's just a little bit slower than you normally would and 
you know when you take a lot of damage and you have this thing at a higher tier it's actually going to be really really useful and it can get you out of a lot of bad situations especially if you use ether shroud or something that kind of gets you away from the zombies as you can see there i was just beating the schmied out of an enemy right there and then i recovered my health after maybe like two seconds so you can get that a little bit lower if you upgrade the tiers obviously but that's really all that the perk does it's a little weird why they didn't add the extra benefits like the tier trees and stuff like that i thought it would have been a little bit more useful but apparently they just like hey we'll just increase the rate at which you revive and you know obviously recover health and actually you know i just realized something this doesn't even help with reviving the whole quick revive thing is just completely you know i know it's not called quick revive but it's a coven now which is so crazy to think but quick revive it it definitely i wouldn't upgrade this like the most first but it's probably gonna be my second or third depending on my mood you know like my you know everyone's moods fluctuates this might this list might be different a week from now okay but depending on how much i play the game but you know overall i really do enjoy the perk for our second perk we have stamina up and stamina up is actually really useful from the moment you get it i don't know why but you just get that little bit of boost and i think it's about like a three or four percent extra increase with every purchase you get but you can just feel it you know like it, it's just there and honestly i really do enjoy this perk you don't really have to upgrade it though but it is just so good i have it higher up on this list i mean overall it does you know that stamina boost and also you can sprint longer it is really nice i mean being able to run faster especially in this game out of all games where there's tight confined areas you got to get out of some you know little spots very quickly or you're going to die it is a very essential perk that you must have i mean overall it does give you a lot of extra benefits and there's not really a bad thing about this perk that i can think of i mean it's you out of most situations and it also increases stamina so you know you could just get around the map a little bit faster too which is also nice and you could also outrun enemy gunfire which is so crazy as say but yeah it, it helps with that as well and when you upgrade it it is you know it gives you a little bit of benefits extra you know that extra three percent but they stack up and they get really really high and then eventually you're gonna be out sprinting most of the super sprinters which is nice you just have to you know make sure you're sprinting at most times because you know walking speed in this game is a little bit slow and i don't believe that stamina up actually helps you with that which is a little odd which you know you think it would because you know just increases speed but i mean oh well i mean it gets me out of most situations and i really do like this perk just in general i mean i do have a little bit of nostalgia and a little bit of blind love for it but it is just it's just a good perk in this game and i'm glad that they didn't butcher this one like the first two perks that we've mentioned before but honestly gamers let's get into number one of course finally we have deadshot daiquiri or diabolical damage i mean this is just deadshot it is really really good in this game and in cold war but I believe it gets it from, you know, its predecessor. It does increase headshot damage. And also, you know, you're going to be getting a little bit of multiplier damage as well increase. So, you know, if you upgrade this thing, it's going to take you far. I know you're seeing a little bit of body shot and also headshot gameplay here. But you, you can tell there's a vast difference. I have about a 90 body headshot, 90 body shot, and then also like a 365 just simple headshot multiplier which is nice and the cool crazy thing about this is too i don't have it maxed out either so you know definitely when you get this your guns in general just upgraded and you know it's tier three and then also dead shot daiquiri to tier four you're gonna be doing a lot of extra damage which you know of course is really nice but it is essential especially on those higher rounds if you're not running this and stamina up on the higher rounds like if they're not your maxed out perks first you're probably messing up and another reason why you might be downing because you know this is this just helps the most because let's be honest here pack a punch it only really gets good towards maybe like i don't know the second tier which you have to spend like 20 something thousand on the pack a punch machine or just roll it out of the box your choice but overall it does give you a huge 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 difference and it can make or break a gun and depending on how you actually use the gun it can be it can make it can make it an a gun or a b gun or a c gun i mean if you're really accurate like this you can get a lot of extra kills especially if you pair it up with ether shroud and do what exactly i just did and just take advantage of bosses and also take advantage of the exploding zombies i don't know what they're called i'm just gonna call them tormentors because that's they're just reskin the tormentors and if you just you could take advantage of them and then also hide from zombies and then you know blow them up it is also really useful when you pair this thing up with a monkey bomb too because then you're able to get a lot of extra headshot damage and also you know you can get some camo challenges done while using this perk as well and it really does help overall you know deadshot daiquiri in this game is well needed i mean you just need this to actually just progress through the rounds at the 
towards towards the higher round it is definitely something that you're going to need every single match i mean this is the thing that i upgrade every single time first or i mean you know sometimes stamina but you can tell which one you're going to want to upgrade especially if you have a really good weapon and you just want to make it better but hey gamers if you haven't already leave a like subscribe all that cool nonsense check out the links in the description it really helps me out and also i get to talk to you guys in the discord and you know if you may start you deserve a cookie and i love you but on that gamers i will see you guys in the next one hope you have a wonderful day see ya